Russian forces accused of storing weapons in Ukraine's nuclear plant. An official with Kyiv's nuclear agency said that Russia is using Europe's largest nuclear power plant as a base to store weapons, including missile systems and shell surrounding areas in Ukraine. The president of the Ukrainian state nuclear agency, Energo Atom, said on Friday that the situation at the Zaporizhia nuclear plant was extremely tense, with up to 500 Russian soldiers controlling the plant. Agency France Press reports. The occupiers bring their machinery there, including missile systems, from which they already share the other side of the river de Dnipro and the territory of Nikopol, Pedro Kotin said in the televised interview. The nuclear plant in southwestern Ukraine has been under Russian control since the early weeks of Moscow's invasion, though it's still being operated by Ukrainian staff. The most recent attack in the Dnipro region left three dead and 15 wounded, regional governor Valentin Reznichenko said on Telegram. The threat of air raids across most of Ukraine was also raised after strikes were reported in areas far from the front lines. President Volodymyr Zelensky said the Russian objective was to cause maximum damage to Ukrainian cities. Besides, air raid sirens sounded across Kyiv on Saturday as Russia stepped up long-range bombardment of Ukrainian cities that has killed at least 34 people in the last three days in Undeskos. Russian missiles hit the central cities of Dnipro, killing three people and wounding 15, regional governor Valentin Reznichenko said on Telegram. Rockets hit an industrial plant in the street next to it, he said. Footage on social media showed thick black smoke rising from the buildings and burning cars. Eight people were killed and 13 injured in a string of shillings in 10 locations in the eastern region of Donetsk, Governor Pavlo Kirilenko said. This is BBS News. Thank you for listening and goodbye.